Not guilty pleas from two Long Island brothers arraigned after police say they found weapons, drugs, and bomb making manuals in their home. Neighbors say that they have been complaining for years. But tonight, assurances from police that tips are taken seriously. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports. Two brothers handcuffed together, charged together, after police say they found an arsenal of illegal weapons and hallucinogenic drugs in the Mount Sinai home they shared. Why did you have the weapon? Because they were legally owned when I had them. 29 year old Edward Perkowski, according to his attorney, runs a legitimate military supply company. That might explain the Nazi paraphernalia and bomb making manual also found. But Suffolk police say, with thousands of rounds of ammunition and six assault rifles, neighbors were right to tip off police. But neighbors wonder why then their complaints went nowhere for years. They complained the brothers used hate speech and made violent threats, and they suspected drug dealing. They hung a, a neo-Nazi flag from the middle of the street. That's been there for about two years. So, um, you know, just everything just didn't add up. Nothing happened. Well, because they said they didn't have any proof. They have to have proof. Now, Suffolk Police Commissioner Tim Seney promises with an uptick in mass shootings nationwide, see something, say something will yield results. We want the information. Without, without the information, we're powerless. So we need this partnership with the community. The FBI accepts online public tips and local police departments now partner with the feds to vet concerns. Do you have a description of the people? A new Suffolk drug tip line has netted nearly 200 arrests and calls about suspicious behavior just as welcome. Hateful propaganda, uh, that should be a red flag. Perkowski's attorney says he understands public jitters, but in this case, the drugs and weapons are not his clients. Everyone has fears. I have those same fears as well, but you know, if, if it's not yours, it's not yours. Edward faces 25 years to life on drug charges. Younger brother Sean, charged with failing to answer a public urination charge. A third brother acquitted in a racially charged shooting, left court without comment. In Central Islip, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Police say the tip lines are for non emergencies. Always call 911 in a see something, say something emergency.